Hello and welcome to Bin My Element. In this video, we're looking at the different types of energy stores. We're going to be looking at the seven different types of energy stores and we're going to be able to give you examples so that you understand where to recognise them. First up, gravitational potential energy stores. So you need to remember that gravitational potential energy can be found in an object that's going to fall within the gravitational field. So any object that can fall has energy in its potential energy store. The higher the object, the more gravitational potential energy in its store. Now there are different examples of this. So we've looked, picture there is a ball on a ramp. The ball at the top of the ramp has gravitational potential energy. The higher the ramp, the steeper the ramp, the more gravitational potential energy it has. That's the same for a skier going down a mountain. Um, other examples might be a mountain biker on a mountain biking track. It's quite high up a hill. It's gravitational potential energy in its store. And the apple, as it falls from the tree, has the potential to fall. So it has gravitational potential energy in its store. Right, chemical energy. You've got an image of a battery there. Chemical energy can be found in anything that releases energy in a chemical reaction. Um, a battery is an example of one, also food and fuel. All of those have a chemical energy store. So your pizza has a chemical energy store as food, obviously we talked about the battery, and then the gas canister there has a fuel when it's burnt, a chemical reaction takes place and energy is released. Okay, next is kinetic energy stores. Um, you've got the image there of the people running. Kinetic energy is also known as movement energy. Now, with kinetic energy, you can call it movement energy, and that's fine, but we would really like you to be focusing on using the term kinetic and checking that you spell it correctly as you go. It's an important key word for this energy topic in physics. Now, if an object moves, it has energy in its kinetic energy store. There are loads of different examples of this. So, people, animal, vehicles, all have kinetic energy stores. These images just show a few examples. They don't only have kinetic energy stores, but we're using them on this occasion to represent that they have a kinetic energy store. So the rocket, the footballer, obviously the runners and the athlete, and the car, all have a kinetic energy store. Next up is the elastic potential energy store that can be found in an object that can be stretched. So if it can be stretched, like this slinky spring, for example, it has energy in its elastic energy store. There are other examples such as elastic bands, hair bands and knickers. So the elastic in knickers it can be the same for some tops you might wear where they have elastic around the waistband or elasticated trousers. And the example image there obviously is a hair scrunchie. Uh, then you've also got the elastic between an ex with an exercise piece of equipment, a spring, and those are um, a pair of shorts or bloomers that have elastic around the waist. Okay, electrostatic energy store. So they're a little bit different, this one. And this can be found um, between two objects, between an object, sorry, that has two electric charges and these charges attract or repel one another, um, which means they have energy in their electrostatic energy store. So you get an electrical current when the charged particles move through the wire. So the images we've used here are representing electrostatic energy stores. You've got the wire from a plug, you've got the charges in the purple and blue one. You've got the comb with the static electricity, but again the charges and the pylons showing you the national grid and the electricity flowing through that. Then we've got the magnetic energy store. In the magnetic energy store, what we're looking at is energy that can be found in two magnets, between two magnets. So an object that's magnetised and can create a magnetic field. These two magnets can attract or repel one another, showing that they have magnetic energy stores. We've shown this here with different images of magnets. This image here shows the magnetic field using iron filings around the magnet. The other image here over on the right is a drawing to represent that. 
All of these magnets have a magnetic energy store. Now, the final one is the thermal energy store. Thermal energy can be found in almost everything. Anything that heats up has a thermal energy store. So the fire is the example here. And what we've got to remember is the hotter an object is, that means the higher its temperature, so the more energy is present in the thermal energy store. There are different examples of this. We've got here the Bunsen burner, the campfire and the lamp all have thermal energy stores. The lamp, you'll notice that when you go to touch the bulb, that bulb gets warmer over time, showing that there is thermal energy in its store.